Should I keep my clothes on? <laughs> We start up with some kind of planning session. We did a sprint announcement that was on the wiki and stuff, in which we um, presented the kind of <coughs> topics that we are focusing on now. But we are, of course, open to anything that you're interested in around PyPy. So this is not like a static list or anything. Oh, oops, I think that was a programming term, so don't interpret it in that way. Uh, these are just our ideas of what we wanted to focus on, but we're very interested to hear your ideas. And what we usually do is just brainstorm a bit what people are interested in so uh, and then we actually go through the list and start pairing off uh, not just two people but sometimes even a group of people so for instance like if there's a few of you who are interested in the just-in-time compiler and the status of that and, and like you said Joshua if, if you like three or four people of you what we probably do is pair you off with say Armin or someone and you would have like a group pairing session together Maybe here or maybe in the bar, you we'll choose, right? And, uh, and then you have the RC types, we'll have to see that as well. We had like the people who did, I mean Rigo who did uh, Psycho and, um, and Stacklist, Christian Tisma um, with us. And the original project name actually was Minimal Python. On the EU level, we actually have eight organizations. These eight organizations are together in a consortium. There are seven companies and one university. Uh, the people that started the project were actually are working through these organizations. Of course, we still, because that's how the whole project started, want to have it so that the we as developers actually can drive the technical project and are not like uh, just commanded from somewhere what to do or so. So the main method for doing all this is sprints. In PyPy, because we have our EU funding and we identified very early that sprints are a key technique, we evolved our own way of working with sprints. So we have different versions of sprints. You have the first contact sprints around conferences. Now we also have core sprints. In order to keep this balance, we are very heavily dependent on our core developers to be this kind of user interface between the community and the actual EU formal organization of the project. So, PyPy, as a, from a code point of view, has two main parts. It has the standard interpreter, which is a, fair, which is a piece of PyPy jargon by now, which means the code that does essentially what CPython does. It takes bytecode, it evaluates it. We have the analysis toolchain, which takes the standard interpreter and compiles it to 
analyzes it and compiles it to C or LVM. I suspect it's also true that people don't have a clear idea of what PyPy is or does. This is all uh, very interesting, but I'm kind of missing like, the, just the overall Gestalt system of what it's all about. Like, is the goal here to make Python fast, is to make it integrate with other languages? Like, what is the overriding goal aside from let's do this thing that's really kind of interesting? What is PyPy? That is a question that has been asked several times uh, at the conference and we still try to answer I don't think there is an overriding goal. I mean, yes to all of the above, but um, no. I, uh, yes, I, I don't think it's, I'm sorry, I'm not good at this sort of thing. There was a laugh of recognition in the audience because I think the audience expected that. They're not really sure what PyPy is. So it was at least offended. Yeah, that, that's not a technical problem, that's a marketing problem. You need people to, to come up with a story for what you're doing and stick to it consistently. We believe it's kind of a, a next generation Python implementation. It, uh, it's a Python implementation in Python itself. Number two, it's you could use the word PyPy to describe the open source project that is implementing this implementation of Python. Answer number three is this is a structured, no, specific targeted research project, which is a piece of EU jargon.